Welcome to Psychedelic Bible Study. Pem Das here. Um, the other day I was talking about the Noah's Flood. And Noah, one of the things he does is he makes a, a burnt offering after the, the flood waters recede. And as a result, God smells this burnt offering and comes down and makes this uh, pact with Noah, saying that they're never going to um, do this again. Well, you know, I was just curious, and sometimes, again, the individual words I look up and I say, well, what is it in Hebrew? What was the original word here? And in this case, the original uh, word was the word Ola, and it occurs 289 times in the Hebrew Bible. And according to, I'm just looking at uh, Wikipedia here. Wikipedia says it, it means that which goes up, and it's formed from the active participle of the verb Allah, which means to cause to ascend. Um, so what we have here is a word that talks about burning something, but it really means to go up. And oftentimes people just assume that means in smoke, but there's other interpretations of that. What, what means to rise is the mind or the spirit. And when we think about this idea of a sacrifice, something that's burned. And when you, when mushrooms actually deliquesce or they decompose, sometimes the, um, stalk is left standing up and then there's a, um, black mass that looks like it could be ashes or a pool of tar or goo, just depending on what state you see it in. So the burnt offering actually occurs um, after the flood recedes. So the ark finds itself after the flood um, in the mountains near some trees. And then afterwards, the mushroom deliquesces and the result is um, it looks like somebody burned something and made an offering to the gods. So I do believe that the burnt offering in many times refers to something going up in flames, which later occurs, um, I can't remember where, but it, uh, a pillar of fire, God appears. I believe it's Moses. God appears as a pillar of fire. And we think of a pillar of column as a straight white um, column. And then on top, it's on fire. Well, what else looks like a pillar on fire except a mushroom, an Amanita mushroom? So my claim here now is, is that the, the word burnt offering can be associated with another mushroom symbol. And as I say these, I'm going to be putting up some images of mushrooms that have De La Quest in the background or in the foreground. So you don't look at me and you can see the images. Anyway, check it out. Thanks for listening.